Hey there, I'm further reading. Today we're going to talk about how to maximize the value of the rooms in your fort. When you create a room, the objects within it, as well as any engravings, will add to the value of the room. You'll see here in the Gilded Lantern, one of my guilds, if I press this button to examine it, you can see it's worth about 5,500 right now. Most of this is coming from the statues. If I examine the statues, you can see that they're all around a thousand ish. The value depends on the quality of the statue as well as what they're made from. These are platinum statues. So the platinum material and these icons here decide indicating the quality will determine the final value of the item. However, just adding statues like this is an incredibly inefficient way. The best way by far is by constructing tiles out of an expensive material and then engraving those tiles. On screen right now, I've got a calculation that tells you how valuable an engraved floor tile is based off of the material it's made out of. If you're using something like platinum, one of the most valuable materials, then the numbers end up looking like this. While this quality number will depend on the skill of the dwarf used to engrave it. A dabbling dwarf is probably going to get ones and twos mainly, while a legendary dwarf is going to get mainly fives with a couple of twelves. The two most important breakpoints for value occur at 2000 and 10,000. 2000 is what you need to achieve petitions for creating guild halls and temples, while 10,000 is what you need to achieve the highest tier of quality for a room. How these numbers translate to engraved tiles? A dabbling dwarf is going to need about three tiles to hit the 2000 mark and is going to need about 15 tiles to hit the 10,000 mark. While a legendary dwarf is going to need one tile to hit the 2000 mark and somewhere between two and five tiles to hit the 10,000 mark, depending on how many masterpieces you get when doing your engraving. You can also engrave walls, but it's a bit tricky. In order for the walls to count towards the room value, the engraving must happen on a face of the wall inside the room. So for this wall here, they have to be standing here or here when they do the engraving. If they engrave it from over here, the value will not count for the room. A handy way to do that is using high traffic control areas. You'll see here, I am saying that the fastest way to get in here is by coming this way. So this is going to make it less likely to get a path up here. And even for this wall right here, instead of pathing up and standing here, they're going to stand here because this is a closer tile due to the priority calculations. That's fine if you just want to increase one room or if you have a ton of platinum ready to go to add platinum tiles to all your rooms. There is a cheesy exploit way if you're interested in trying it out and I'm going to go over this now. First we're going to talk about the concept of overlap. So you'll see here he's got a bedroom, a dining hall and an office. You'll notice for example with the dining hall and the office they overlap on this area here. Usually you want to avoid overlaps because it's going to vastly reduce the value of the tile that's being overlapped. However, if they're overlapping on walls or doors, nothing's reduced. They both get the full value of those tiles. The second part of the exploit is now you can have disconnected rooms. So for example, if I go here to this office and I click here to repaint it, I can draw down here. And now this is also part, part of the same office. And if I had any valuable items in this area, it would count towards the value of the office. So we're going to combine these two mechanics to create this bullshit. What I have here is a bunch of walls that have all been engraved by my legendary engraver. And under each of these doors, we also have some engraved floors. The doors themselves don't matter. You don't have to do platinum doors. You end up getting a few dozen extra added on to the value of the tile. The floor and the engraving on the floor is where the majority of the value comes from. So you can use whatever doors you want. But yeah, we've got platinum walls, platinum floors, and they're all engraved. Because these are doors and walls, we can add this 
to any zone that we want and they will get the full value because doors and walls don't reduce their value when they're overlapping to show you this in action i'm going to pop it back over here this is what we were looking at before the gilded lantern currently at 5500 i'm gonna hit repaint i'm gonna pop down to this little corner here draw on top of it accept and now it's worth 660k and to show you that it doesn't get reduced, if you check over here, we've got the leafy rawness. The leafy rawness currently 5,900. We are going to pop it down here to our little bullshit corner. Add this in. Press accept. This is now 60k. And this is still 60k. And uh, that's the exploit in a nutshell. Rather than having to put platinum in every single one of your rooms, all you got to do is make with this one section here. Make sure this section is worth at least 10k. Then just add on to any of the rooms of your choice. One caveat though is you can only add it to rooms on the same Z level. If you want to do the same thing, build another one of these little bullshit tiles on every Z level that you want to add into rooms. And there we go. This is both an explanation about how to fairly increase value in your rooms, along with a little exploit if you're thinking of being a little cheesy. I hope you found this guide useful. And if you did, feel free to like and subscribe. If you want to watch more content like this, you can check out any of the videos on screen right now. Or you can check me out on Twitch, where I stream regularly. Hopefully, I'll see you soon.